Hi, I'm Derek B., editor of the Peru Tribune, back with you today for another edition of Tomorrow's News, our daily video feature in which we tell you a little bit about what you can expect to read in the next day's newspaper. Uh, today is Tuesday, April 1st, 2014, and I promise there will be no April Fool's jokes in this video. Uh, everything that I'm saying you can take completely seriously. On our lead story, uh, Eric Stoff tells us about a pair of drug arrests. A um, mother and son in Peru were arrested after an investigation. A really interesting story here. Uh, they were arrested after selling, uh, I'm sorry, dealing uh, different varieties of drugs uh, within 1,000 feet of a park. I hope you'll take a look at that story online or in print to get the details. On our display story, uh, also from Eric, uh, we talked a little bit about a new reading program coming to Pipe Creek. Uh, they're going to take the kids to a Tin Caps game up in Fort Wayne uh, in May, and they're encouraging them to read to get there. A uh, really interesting program, and glad to see them doing something to push literacy uh, in the county. Uh, finally, our last story from Eric, Eric had a busy day, uh, is about the Board of Works. Uh, Peru's Board of Public Works and Safety met on uh, Tuesday morning, and they approved some events for this year's circus. Yeah, it's already time, and they're starting to plan the circus in July, so hope you take a look at that story and keep an eye out for more circus coverage, a lot of circus coverage, uh, as we come up to the main event uh, in that third week um, of July. Uh, finally, we had two stories from me. Uh, the first one rounds out our A1. That's in advance of this month's Food Finders Drive. Uh, they're going up for a mobile giveaway day for the first time in Macy. Uh, that's supported by several churches up there. And I also wrote our education story, uh, which runs on A3. It's a profile of Amy Wilson, a Peru resident and Ivy Tech Kokomo student, who's won a couple of awards. Uh, she's actually a returning student, uh, has a couple of kids who are grown up now. So it's uh, really great to see her uh, pursuing her dream and uh, excelling while she's doing it. Finally, on the sports page, we had two stories. Uh, first from Nick Roby is a preview of the North Miami softball season. Uh, they have been very good and look like they might continue to be very good. Uh, so it's exciting to see what they've gotten sore and how they're going to replace some senior leadership. And we also have a story from Matt Wilson over at the Chronicle Tribune about Oak Hill's Courtney Moses. Uh, her senior season at Purdue ended uh, a little bit prematurely, but she will still be uh, in the spotlight on Thursday when she'll be in a nationally televised three-point contest. As always, you can find all those stories in tomorrow's print edition of the Purdue Tribune and online tonight at purdutribune.com. You can find links to those stories on our Facebook and Twitter pages, which are both Purdue Tribune. And you can find me and all of our reporters on Twitter. Until tomorrow, that's tomorrow's news. I'm Derek B. Have a great Wednesday.